guys it is four o'clock and I haven't vlogged since that tiny b-roll that you saw with me making my smoothie and going to work this morning it's just been a busy day this is why I don't understand how people with day jobs can vlog every day um, and many points those people who do YouTube full-time and do make it a point to vlog every single day even while they're preparing their pre-recorded videos and everything else that goes along with that so day three, after this day, we are over halfway there. And just like yesterday, thank you guys so much for all the comments on Tuesday's video. It is now up, I will link it above. And then I do have a playlist I'll put at the end of this video that shows all of these days. Let's talk about struggle for just a quick second since we are halfway done. And this is typically when struggling comes in. Um, whenever I do start workouts or diet plans or just cleanses or changes in life, I hit the ground running at the beginning and I'm so enthusiastic, like America during the first week of the year with New Year's resolutions. Everybody's so into it, it's their thing, they love it, and then after the first week they taper off. Typically halfway through something I also taper off, so I spent a little bit of my lunch break today researching like healthy recipes I could make best ways to meal plan and then to make myself just a little bit more motivated I researched how much I could save and put towards a vacation if I you know didn't eat out as often I am I think within six weeks of earning my first 40 hours of paid time off which is very exciting um, tonight I won't be able to vlog very much I'm going to a rehearsal for the symphony concert that I sing next Tuesday we have one rehearsal tonight to kind of figure out the way the show is going to flow when the orchestra plays I will be their soprano singer and I will also be their MC it is my first time with this symphony MCing a concert again this is another one of those skills I got on cruise ships that I never thought I would get it was one that was just thrown upon me, but it was public speaking. And I'm really excited that I'm now getting gigs and jobs um, for me being able to stand up in front of a bunch of people and speak and having these companies and organizations trust me with the success of their programs. Um, when I was on ships, I was again their singer, but I, as a crew member, regardless of the job I had, I had to be able to conduct a boat drill. and. Some of the ships you had like your own designated areas by the boats and smaller ships you had to meet in like lounges and one of the ships I got out of Charleston, South Carolina, the Carnival Fantasy, I had to put all my guests in the comedy club and then later after the drill we would take them upstairs, show them the boats and then let them go on vacation. But while they were in that comedy club I had to say you know good afternoon, welcome to Carnival Cruise, we hope you're enjoying you know your cruise so far and then because things never go according to plan or on schedule, I would have to stand there and kind of entertain slightly while they were getting ready to conduct the boat drill. Obviously when the drill started, we were quiet, but before the drill, I would say things like, you know, give me a round of applause if you're excited for a vacation, or round of applause if you're, you know, here celebrating your honeymoon, or your divorce, or you're cruising without your kids, or it's a bachelorette cruise. Like you just go on and on and on, and your audience kind of fed off you, and you quickly learned what worked well and what didn't work well when it came to talking to an audience. And then the last ship I was currently on, currently on, yep, the last ship I was on was out of Galveston, Texas, and we did the New Year's Eve cruise. First of all, New Year's Eve cruises are awesome because they let the singers go up to the top deck, the Lido, and they make a little stage for us. We, we sing with the band overlooking the ocean. It's awesome. 
And P.S. Side note, I did get so many of your requests about doing a Life at Sea video to tell you all about that life adventure. It's in the books. It's on the calendar. It is happening this month. So keep an eye out for that. But New Year's Eve cruise, um, you had 3,500 people covering the Lido deck and you were the one standing on the stage with the microphone. So that's where I got a little bit of my public speaking skills. And actually, when I started my own business of teaching voice and piano and music theory, the last thing I ever thought I would be teaching is public speaking. But I've got some kids who said, you know, I'm on speech and debate team. One was like surprisingly the valedictorian of his high school. He didn't know like who it was going to be and he got it. And he was terrified to give his speech. So he came to my studio three or four times. We practiced his speech. We looked at, you know, different ways he could present it, ways he should, you know, enhance what he was saying to really touch the audience. And it was really nice. It was kind of a surprise addition to my business, but I was very happy to have it. Um, the kids I teach, I'm very lucky. 90% of them are in high school. A few middle schoolers and a few scattered adults, just depending on the time of year and how they contact me. I was more into my business when I was a substitute teacher, but now that I have the nine to five, I don't really push to have students as much. I kind of let them come to me. I kind of let them just find me. I'm just kidding. But enough of that blabbering. I guess the moral of that story is I'm excited to go to rehearsal tonight for the first time being an MC and the soloist of a major concert. Oh, can you guys see my lanyard? Carnival Cruise, team member. Could never leave anywhere without it, so I don't leave anywhere on land without it. <laughs> uh, steps wise, it's 4.30 and I've got just under 3,000 steps, which means this girl has to go get some steps in. But enough of that, I will try to vlog a little bit of this church. This is a rehearsal that I have to really pay close attention to. I mean, I am the one on the stage with the microphone. I'm meeting the director, the conductor, all these major people. And if I had it my way, I would book this concert with them every single year. I'll give you guys, I'll tell you a little secret. It's not really a secret, but to me it is. In booking this concert and kind of meeting a few people, they've already asked me to come back in August and be their soloist for their summer concert series. So that is for a singer to book a orchestra gig without representation. I don't have an agent for, for soloist gigs. That's not a thing I have. But for me to book it on my own as an independent singer, that is so big. I don't know if anybody watching this is a singer. Hold on. I'm gonna roll the window sound, it's a little warm. But that is huge to not have somebody there. But that does mean I am the one that has to negotiate salary, rehearsals, repertoire choices, um, days of the concert and the protocol on that day, what to wear, like everything I have to do. But I think in the end it's worth it and it makes you appreciate what you're doing so much more. Anyway, I have blabbered enough. It is now time to run home. I'm not gonna change clothes, I'm just gonna grab some of my music and a notebook and I'm gonna head up north outside the city and I'm gonna go to rehearsal. If they do light up the theater, I will show you the space because it is beautiful. But day three is going well. Um, I already fear that they're going to bring us some form of food tonight. So that's going to be a challenge because it's one of the symphonies here in Columbus and they're union. So I know they make a little bit more money and they probably bring you a little bit to eat. Um, if they do offer food, I might take something small just because I looked up how much these smoothies are and your calorie count is really low. Like you could not live on this. This would be too much. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Here we are spending an evening of rehearsal at Ohio Wesleyan University. This is so beautiful. I get to perform here? This is so nice. Oh. This is beautiful. Let's go see if the uh, performance, I think we're doing it at a chapel, the chapel on campus. Let's see if it's lit up. So I walked into the wrong building. Typical. 
walked into a classroom and I thought it was people getting ready to rehearse and it was a classroom. And they said, no, no, you have to head out. That, sh that building behind me is where I walked in. They said, oh no, you gotta turn around. You're in the performance hall that looks like a castle. And let me show you what I'm seeing. If the Harry Potter theme music wasn't copywritten, I would be using it right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm singing it to myself. Let's go inside. My earpiece. So y'all can hear me. Did I just say y'all? Totally did. Hi, John. It's so nice. Hi, Warren. Yeah. just let out. I am going to have to make a long commute home because this is far away from my home. So I'm going to cut this vlog short now. I will update you tomorrow how we did with steps and everything, but it was a good day. Two more days to go. This theater is so beautiful. Good night, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs>